हेलो फ्रेंड्स डू यू वॉन्ट स्मार्ट वर्क एंड रिड्यूस योर टाइम फ्रेम इन योर डे टू डे एक्टिविटी then definitely this video is very and very helpful for you so in the today forum we are trying to learn top most five important shortcut key which is available in the sap s4 hana platform which can eliminate our time frame and able to impressive our work so let's understand and move it further so first shortcut key is called quick copy and paste in older as or now it is also we are using control c and control v which is the world platform and through which we are doing copy as well as paste but sap facilitating a very fantastic concept called drag and drop through which copy and paste is done within a fraction of second let's understand by logging the sap and we are jumping into the sap right now so this is 9050 is a data against putted the vendor account now same data we just copy and paste into the company code what we can do we just drag it should be copy let's see how we are doing drag and copy done and paste with the right key and it's done probably it is in your mind that yes it could be happen because of the number now will be show you it is also possible for everywhere as like one example called it as the date so date also we can able to pull means drag copy done now go for right click called it as a paste probably there is another question in your mind every time we will be copy that means every time we will be drag for copy and for paste we will be use it as the right click no once you will be drag it will be copied and you can paste wherever you want and just put it your right click this is called the quick copy paste facilitations available in the sap platform for this a small configuration is required if you need this configurations then definitely do the message in chat box will be make another video or we can able to give you the detail instruction so that you can able to reach it out now move to the second the second important shortcut key is called the selection criteria selection in the sense we have a list of record in our hand and we are trying to select among of them probably all probably in between probably as per our requirement let's see how we can able to do for that we have to open a transaction code and that transaction code is nothing called gmm60 probably here i just have to tell you one more thing z means customization so how the customization is possible and what are the customization object are available in a industry or in a organization how to identify for that if you required the standard versus custom that how the standard can identify and custom is identify what is the behavior of standard and what is the behavior of custom what are the object is false under standard and what are the objects are false under the custom all this information is available in our play playlist or description box check out that video so today agenda is something different so i'll be explain it over here so 9050 i just have to put on behalf of plant field and this indicates meta for consulting execute for execute i use a smart key that's it's called effect from the keyboard so here you will be find it out there is a material number and this field we are trying it as a selection criteria the first and preliminary here i am going to intimate you explain you many things keep watching keep patience you will be learn and going to get a many more flexibility so let's suppose we have to select the first record what we can do control y so system is select only the selected record now if you wants to select more than one record like this drag simply and use the copy once you copy you can see here it is being highlighted something different let's suppose you are saying that no we have to be copy from the third row itself so let's click on the third row and do one second control y and drag whatever you want to be let's suppose i am selecting this many options all total five material number i am being select copy 
copy is done now what we can do we have to go here and move to the multiple selection criteria again friends multiple selection criteria is going to play a major major and major role if you want the detail information how the multiple selection criteria will be help us in our day to day activity then definitely comment us will be create a separate video which will be detail explain about the select single value select range value exclude selection value as well as exclude range but right now what we can do we just have to use the quick copy paste right click and the things are done execute and execute system will display all such of item which be selected prior before and the list of item is automatically removed from the output layout now let me go back and once again we have to execute this custom transaction code gmm60 and i have to understand few more flexibility and flexibility about the quick copy uh, sorry uh, related to the selection options so f8 so once we f8 here in your mind probability is going to come we can select the single row but how we can able to select the multiple row so what you can do again you can able to do it control y selection done you required second row just a drag again drag and drag this is the beautiful facility again i can able to drag this much only now control c probably in your mind you can say that no we selected the first row the things are being happen like this but we do not want the first row we want from the third fourth or fifth row randomly so what we can do let's i am just going to choose this one and same facility i am trying to do it so here okay now the thing is that you can able to see that no i can if we are dragging the multiple row and drag to down then in that case the things are possible no my dear friend the single row you can able to down uh, you can able to select and you can scroll up to right that is also going to be get selected i will show you that facility let's suppose i can choose here once again control y now this many materials i required right then what i can do go to next go to next and go to next see how is it bing it is really helpful for you and it will be eliminate your time sure go ahead for the next one so next one is called your slash n this is also a very very important what slash n is going to do it slash n means we are truncate the existing session and going ahead for a new session how it is being prior to that i have to show you one thing currently we are in a single sap session you can see here we are in a single sap session okay we don't have open any other sap session so what we can do we have to put a transaction code slash n and me23n me23n is for display the purchase order so what slash n will be do slash n will be truncate the current session and open the new transactional sessions enter once you enter you can see here the purchase order display is going to be available in the screen however the existing session is overwritten now cross check it is that so yes only one session okay this way we can able to use the slash n till such a period if you feel this video is really helpful for you so please like share and subscribe so that it will be motivate us go ahead for the next event and understand about the next shortcut key so the next shortcut key is called it as the slash o slash o means it will not be interrupt your current session and open a new session with additional one so what will happen this and how to use that also i can able to show you slash o and we are trying to open ml 81 n okay this is the another transaction code and I press enter once we press enter then system will be open a another transaction code along with the current session so system is automatically open and you can see here that the data is being display if we are going to show you right now there are two two sessions is already open if we are trying to open one more let's cross check and identify slash n then the new transaction code which i am going to open is called mm60 i'm i'm using the different different transaction code so that it will be easy for understanding okay 
now let's see and cross check there are three different session is going to get open so right now uh, we are using slash n that means it's truncate we have to use slash o okay remember slash o m m or maybe g m m six zero okay and enter once enter then what will happen the session is going to be open and now we can able to see there are three different sessions one two and three let's open one more session like me 23 n earlier which b was put it slash n okay so right now we can able to put slash o slash o m e 23 n and press enter once we press enter we will be see the purchase order display session is going to get open now how many sessions we have on? one one two three four okay so now we can move towards the next activity what is our next activity the next activity is to understand our last most important shortcut key the last most important shortcut key is nothing plus called slash nex that means in a single instance we can able to close all the sessions and log off our system too this is a fantastic transaction code available through which we can able to do all sort of activity so let's be understand and utilize it so here we can able to put slash nex so don't worry slash nex you can able to put any of the selection bar which is currently open in your window or any of the session which I am trying to say it off. Let's suppose we can able to put slash nex in this session, in this session, in this session or in this session. Wherever he wants to put it will work similarly. Okay. So right now I am going to put slash nex and press enter. As soon as system will close all the sessions and log off to. Let's see and cross check. Is that so? Yes. So let me conclude the today activity and understand the more details about metaphor consulting metaphor consulting is not only provide the training as well as provide the 100% job guarantee those who are interested training plus job guarantee they can reach to the helpline number available in the in the presented screen boys and girls and my dear friends if this video is really interesting for you and value added please like share and subscribe so that it will be motivate us and always share to your team members and circle so that many to many peoples can able to utilize this smart technique and eliminate their old methodology save their time and do their smart work thank you guys thanks a lot for your time and patience thanks you guys